the WFSA uh, and other anesthesia groups are doing a tremendous amount uh, around the world through clinical fellowships, through training programs. They're also bringing awareness uh, by working within the global anesthesia um, associations in all parts of the world to push that agenda. They're kind of a unifying force that brings everyone together. Africa is uh, very diverse. 54 countries in Africa and uh, the development of anesthesia in all the other countries are not the same. So for West Africa and the southern part of Africa, or South Africa specifically, I think we're a bit advanced. For Central Africa, for Eastern part of Africa, we still have um, uh, low access to anesthesia. In Papua New Guinea, some of the challenges is the, uh, it's the geography one, um, in terms of access to the health services. Also, the, um, the services themselves getting into the rural areas. In Papua New Guinea, po about 80% of the population lives in rural areas where they don't have access to almost no facilities uh, or the minimum facility of a health uh, center or an aid post where there's no doctor or an anesthetist. So most of people who live in that, that 80% in the rural areas would have to travel days to reach a health facility or uh, basically a big hospital in order to have surgery and anesthesia. Uganda has a population of about 35 million people. We have basically th around 50 anesthesiologists. So most of the work is done by the so-called uh, kind of paramedic people. We call them clinic officers in our place, but these are nurses and uh, clinic officers who have gone and studied an extra two years to do the anesthetics. So basically most of the work, especially in Sub-Saharan Africa, is done by these people. Well, what is happening right now is we're having a bit of a surge in the numbers of the anesthesiologists, and we are happy about that. But what we have to do is how do we work with these people, that's the issue, so that we ensure that everybody gets a safe service. And it's going to be a slow process. As I said, it all depends on the government. But we keep on lobbying, and we think that it will happen sooner or later it's going to happen. There's no way you can compare the growth in the physician anesthetist with the growth in population. The National Postgraduate Medical College of Nigeria is to uh, uh, encourage training of uh, middle level, having a diploma in anesthesia, which is a 12 months program in the university. So we're looking at other ways, thinking out of the box and seeing how we can uh, make more fellows and more diplomates in anesthesia. The role of the WFSA really is to match the fellows with the trainers and through uh, a transparent process where you apply and, and you're selected, you finish and you, you succeed and then go back to your country to also teach, establish that specialty and they teach others. So WFSA has played that role. WFSA basically is, is, is recognized all over the world and it's, such, it's a big voice. Um, for a country such as mine, a developing country, the priorities of a government is usually into, uh, mostly not, I mean health, but mostly into public health. Most of the work is going to be done by the government. And what happens, it depends on the government. If uh, the priority at that time is not going to be health, then it is not going to happen right away. It's um, challenging for, for, for everybody to be on the, safe, on, on the same stage. We are at different levels, but at the same time, we're working towards making sure that everybody buys into the new move, strengthening anesthesia, safe anesthesia, safe surgery for all before. Uh, 2030. The number one thing would, would be probably the anesthesia workforce, but even if you develop a workforce, they need a place to work, they need, you know, capital equipment to work with, they need facilities, they need surgeons to work with. It's not just a simple thing of training an, an anesthesiologist and placing them somewhere. Uh, they need the whole package to go along with it, and it's building that entire system um, that's really the challenge.